You were asked to calculate the electric field, both the magnitude and the direction, at a point P that's located a distance X away from the center of a charged ring. For a point charge, we know that the electric field is KQ over R squared. Now, we don't have a point charge, but for a little bit of charge, we can say that DE equals K over R squared DQ. So consider a little bit of charge on the ring, we'll call it DQ, and that little bit of charge produces a little bit of electric field at point P, we'll call that DE. And we'll say that the distance from the little bit of charge to point P is R, and then the angle that the little bit of electric field makes with the x-axis we'll call theta. And that means if you look at the diagram, by vertical angles, this angle is also theta. So the little bit of charge produces a little bit of electric field, dE equals k over r squared dq, and from symmetry, the net electric field will point in the positive x direction. If you imagine any point on the ring has a point on the opposite side of the ring that will cancel out the vertical components, so we'll only have something pointing along the positive x direction. So the x component of the tiny little bit of electric field is k cosine theta over r squared dq. So we have our formula for the x component of the tiny little bit of electric field. Now we can use linear charge density to relate a little bit of charge to a little bit of length. Lambda is charge per unit length, so that's q over the length. Well, that's the circumference, 2 pi a. And that equals a little bit of charge over a little bit of length, dq over dl. I can rewrite this as dq equals q over 2 pi a dl, and then I can substitute that in. So I get the x component of a tiny little bit of electric field dE to be kq cosine theta over 2 pi a r squared dl. Now if you notice, everything in front of the dl is a constant. That means we're ready to integrate. Okay, so here's our formula for dE, the x component. So the x component of the electric field is the integral of this. Well, everything that was in front of the dl is a constant. That can be pulled outside the integral. So I get kq cosine theta over 2 pi a r squared times the integral from 0 to 2 pi a of dl. Why from 0 to 2 pi a? Well, dl is the length, and I want to go all the way around the ring, so I want 0 all the way up to 2 pi a. That's the circumference. Now that's a very easy integral to do. The integral of dl is just l, and when I evaluate that from 0 to 2 pi a, that just becomes 2 pi a. And after a little simplification, I see that the electric field is kq cosine theta over r squared. But we're not done. We need to express the answer in terms of the given variables. Okay, so E equals kq cosine theta over r squared. If you look at the diagram, there's a triangle that I can make. Here's the angle theta, here's r, here's x, and here's a. And from this triangle, I can see that r equals the square root of x squared plus a squared by the Pythagorean theorem. I can also see that the cosine of theta is x over r, which is x over the square root of x squared plus a squared. So substituting in for r and cosine theta, I get that the electric field is kqx over x squared plus a squared to the 3 halves power. And that's my final answer. So now I have the magnitude, and I also have the direction. It points along the positive x-axis.